My name's Dr Jenny Wakeley. I work as a GP in the NHS and also specialise in dermatology. I run a company called The Beauty Doctor, specialising in cosmetic treatments and dermatological advice. So I'm here today to talk to you about how to get rid of your facial scars. Um, there's different types of facial scars depending on the type of skin that you have. Um, sometimes they are hyperpigmented, darker scars um, because if, that's, if you tend to have skin that goes dark first and then fades gradually when you heal, um, they're treated in a slightly different way. Uh, so with that you can use creams such as uh, kojic acid, vitamin C, hydroquinone, uh, vitamin A based creams such as Retin-A. You need to be careful when you use hydroquinone and Retin-A. Uh, the hydroquinone because you can only really use them for a maximum of three to four months at a push every day and then you need to take about a one, one month or so rest before you start the treatment again. Also, you can have a little bit of irritation caused by the hydroquinone, which should settle, but if not, you need to stop it. The Retin-A you must not have if you're pregnant or trying to get pregnant, because that can cause problems with the fetus. Um, it can also cause, again, some irritation, especially in strong light. It can very rarely make the darkening worse, so you need to use SPF, and you need to stop if the irritation is too much. So for people with darker scars and for fair-skinned people who have scars but aren't, but which aren't necessarily darker, um, you can both use gentle peels, uh, so glycolic acid, alpha hydroxy acid type peels, which don't peel the skin, you just go a little bit red at best. Um, but what they do over time is that basically increase the cell turnover, increase the healing of the skin. Um, you can also use something called a derma roller and that consists of very, very, very small microscopic needles. You don't really feel any pain at all, um, but what that does is it causes very small irritation in the skin and causes localised production of collagen because it tricks the skin to think it needs to start healing itself. Also, it enlarges the pores and makes any creams that you're putting on top of the cream. So for example, for the pigmented skin, if you're using a hydroquinone or Retin-A cream, it will improve the absorption of that as well. You can also use various lasers, uh, a CO2 laser or something called an Ur-YAG laser. Um, they work very well. The CO2 has quite a bit of downtime involved, so the, the other one is a bit better. Um, Afro-Caribbeans need to be careful with lasers because sometimes it can cause increased pigmentation in the skin or hypopigmentation or lightening of the skin. So they can only really use the fractionated type of lasers which only affect a small layer of the skin rather than um, the full layer of skin. So I hope this has been useful and thank you very much for listening to me.